Hey guys, what's up? What's uh, going if you're on, saying here? I wanted to commentate this match. I'm uh, I'm playing the winner, so oh, okay. I definitely want to watch. It's a uh, Pug versus Tree Master. If you haven't announced that already, I imagine you have. But Pug going Zelda. I think he told me he was gonna go Zelda, uh, cause Tree Master plays Villager. But he's getting those good uh, up airs, um, recovering to the ledge on the side of the stage there, just running up the side of the stage, which was really smart by him, because he could have had his balloons popped by Zelda's down air. Okay, okay, all right. So Tree Master with the slight lead. It looks like he's playing it pretty safe, just getting those slingshots in, not letting, uh, you know, not, not putting himself in a bad position against Zelda, except for right there, <laughs> as soon as I say something. It's a commentator curse. Oh, yeah, I know. Here come the down air combos. Oh, Pug's very good okay. at the air dodge. Air dodge read to up smash. Oh, oh. Yeah, Villager's Village is going to recover from that every time. Unless you get the hit stun all the way to the floor, he's recovering. Oh, can Villager pocket the, uh, uh, the, the knight? I hope not, because that would be busted. That would be awesome. No, that'd be busted. <laughs> no, that'd be sick. <laughs> you can I mean, the, the knight, does he count as a projectile? I know there's a certain name for him that I'm forgetting, but. But I want to see him pocket it. That would be hype. Honestly, if that happens, if that's how he takes a stock, I'm going to get off the car machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just going for these back throws, and that's it. That was so unsafe there. He's just throwing out the back throws over and over again. Puck knows what he's going to do. He's just getting that punish. Up oh, smash. Okay. Zelda still not gonna kill, even though Zelda's being real light. You know, no rage. Good nair. Oh. But if Rex, let's Whoa, oh, he's yo, gonna get the pocket. He pocketed it. Yo, he should have saved that. He should have gone for the stock. That would kill Zelda at zero. That would have been hype. Now, if you reflect the tree. Close enough to him, yeah. Up tilt's gonna uh, take the stock. But if you reflect the tree uh, close enough to Villager, and like as soon as he chops it, he'll be stuck in lag, so that and he can't pocket it. it. So he'll get hit by the reflected tree, like right there. <laughs> as as I say it, as I say it, it happens. <laughs> Yo, just as just as Neko post 119 bless, he gets bopped. Yo. Double, double commentator curse this round. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, Necker, where are you, man? We need you here, dude. We, we have no commentators. You know, Hazmat's not here yet, maybe. Uncle's probably, you know, coaching a basketball game. I mean, I don't mind because I like getting stream time, but it's yeah, really no, it's nice fine. to see you, Neko. All right. So he's taking the run back to Battlefield. I actually don't know anything about this matchup on this stage. Um, he's, he's recovering. He's Villager. Oh. Good stall on the ledge there, avoiding uh, any down airs. So basically, Zelda can use her neutral B to reflect anything that Villager really throws out. It can reflect the slingshot, the Lloyd rocket, um, the tree, obviously, as we saw. Um, you know, not a lot of people play Zelda, and that's probably why we don't know the matchup that well, but I would definitely say Villager has the obvious advantage with Zelda being one of the worst characters in the, in the game. He just has to uh, camp Pug out for the most part and get his punishes in when he knows he can get them. But Pug's a very, very good player. He's going to read everything that uh, Tree Master is going to do. Excellent grab here. Nice down tilt. He's not going to get anything to follow up off that, which he should. Um, yeah, you get the, the shovel to up smash. If he gets that again, that's going to kill on Zelda. He's throwing out these bowling balls. Now, Pug can actually, he can neutral be the bowling ball on the ground, and it will go back upwards. Really? Yeah. If, you if the bowling ball is falling and you use a reflector, it can reflect back upwards. So if he's like underneath the ledge and he reflects it, it will go back up and hit Villager. It's like the best thing to do. That's ridiculous. It's one of the most hype like reflections you can get. Plus, 
bowling ball, when it falls, it does more damage. So that doubles as reflective damage, too. And like if you if you get reflected bowling ball, you're just done. Let's see. Puck is being really patient. It's dead even here. One, two, three, blessed. Even though that's not a thing. Yo, just throw out that oh back throw. God. Throw out an up up air. Oh, there oh. we go. He threw out an up air, and that's gonna be the stock. Yo, whenever <laughs> I say whenever I say something, it's just like boom, dead. I'm on a roll, boys. Power of the commentator, curse too strong. Yeah, this is like the first time it's happened to me too, and it happens like three times in a row. Maybe it's a side. Maybe you were gifted. Yeah, so. Tree Master holding on to his stock at 152%. That's going to do him real well. Oh, and Puck suiciding. Come on. It's going to be 1 1. Yeah, I want to see Tree Master take this match, dude. Nah. I don't want to play Pug. <laughs> or actually, I no, know. I want to play Pug because I want the 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 badge. But uh, but I mean, if I get a better bracket, I mean, I'd obviously be more satisfied with beating Pug. Yeah. But he's probably going to switch to Marth. Or is he staying Zelda? I don't know what he was trying to do. I'm actually really confused. I think he was trying to do the Zelda ladder kill, where you go, you hit them with the first hit of up B, and you teleport upwards and you hit them with a the second hit, and then they're, uh, they get killed off the top of the stage. But he definitely misinputted and just killed himself. That's rough. Hopefully he plays like this when I play against him, and I can win. Okay, yeah, no, now he's going in. He's probably looking for style points or something. He's getting those Zelda combos. Huge early lead here for Pug. I don't think... Can uh, Villager pocket the Zelda side B? It doesn't look like it. I don't it. think so. Oh, and that's oh, it. Yeah, see, that's what he yeah. was going for last time. But he definitely missed it. So, early stock. Pug at only 17%, and he's just waiting him out here on the ledge. I, lo I love Zelda's... Uh, Okay, sweet so spot. Eh? Oh my god. <laughs> the disrespect is so real, dude. If if Pug loses this match, I'm going to cry. Everyone here is going to go crazy, dude. Yeah, of course. Watch, he's going to he's going to try to reflect the tree on him or something stupid cuz he's like, "Oh, I'm Pug." This is free. Oh, it's last second nair getting that point that killing. That up smash, I believe, would have killed. I want to see him reflect the, reflect the bowling ball pug. <laughs> I don't want to say it too loud because I don't want him to hear me. Yeah, see, you can't pocket those. That's that was like crazy. exploding like right when it happened. Yo, one good bowling ball and it's over. Let's go, Tree Master. Let's go. Don't play. Don't play. Don't play scared. You got this. I believe. Oh, oh, oh. that was close. If that tree hit him, he was gone that was a good match though yeah i mean pug with a little bit too much disrespect all right i'm about to uh, hop off and give it to my boy but he does make it on to winner's